A new approach to improving education in Alabama. Today, top educators, handpicked by the governor, gathered in Montgomery for the very first meeting of the governor's commission on teaching and learning. The goal is to focus on ways to improve the education system all the way from pre-K to the 12th grade. WSFA 12 News political reporter Aaron Davis is joining us live at the state Supreme Court building where that meeting was held. Aaron, tell us more. Mark, with this being the first meeting of the commission, they really focused on laying the foundation for some of those challenges in Alabama's education system. But Mark, I also had the chance to speak with the only teacher and only parent on this commission about what they want to offer to the state. Mr. Reggie White is the only teacher on the governor's commission on teaching and learning. We have teachers who are in the field who are not confident. In my opinion, this commission is tasked with helping solve the single most important issue facing our state. Alabama is short nearly 600 teachers, mainly in special education, early education, and elementary schools. Part of the solution is a specific recruitment team and advertising the profession to high school and college students. The teacher pie a teacher to being a teacher. The Department of Early Childhood Education Director Dr. Barbara Cooper also shared efforts they are taking to expand first class pre-K to counties with 20% of people living below the federal poverty level. They can't just open up a classroom and put a few pieces of furniture in. They are very specific items that have to be in there in order for us to reach that quality. The parents' voice is also represented on the commission with president of the Alabama Parent Teacher Association, Donna McCurry. The parents really are the boots on the ground at a school, helping out and volunteering, and they hear a lot from teachers. McCurry and Mr. White want to use their positions to offer a new perspective for those outside of the classroom. A lot of parents, um, I have found over my 20-something years with PTA that a lot of the very best volunteers at schools are usually then pulled in as, as substitute teachers. I really think support is needed for the new teachers who are coming into the profession and students who are in disadvantaged areas. Now, the commission must submit a final recommendation by this December 1st, and the commission chair wants to stress that that will be here sooner than they realize. Mark? All right, keep us posted, Aaron. When asked today about the upcoming legislative session, Governor Ivey told reporters that education remains her top priority. She'll lay out her legislative agenda in her State of the State address on the first night of the session, March 7th.